September 12, 2021. Donald Mustard on Twitter says, I'm ultra biased, but I've been so excited about getting to Chapter 2 Season 7 for like a long time. I hope you loved it. Chapter 2 Season 8 and the other two after it are maybe my very favorite parts. Well, until that one thing, I can't decide I love it all. Can't wait for you to experience all of it. I've recently become acutely aware of this tweet and at this time I wasn't really playing Fortnite so it's no wonder I don't remember it, but this is pretty big. Donald Mustard, of course, is the head creative guy over at Epic and he's saying that his very favorite parts of what Fortnite has done so far is chapter two, season eight through chapter three, season two. That is, of course, until that one thing. What might that be? Might it be the doomsday device destroying the island? Might it be the seven raging a civil war against itself in a feud? Might it be the mech finally getting destroyed in battle against the devourer? Or even the return of the cube queen and the last reality through the middle of the map where the IO drilled through? The beautiful thing about this whole thing is we don't really know, but I would trust Mr. Mustard on this if he is saying it's his favorite overall time, which it does seem like he's saying, then we're in for a treat. Next up, we have Nairi Torres. I hope I said that right. But they say, yo, what if Ariza and Panther are the original sisters and the Imagined and the Order are tasked with infiltrating the Seven and their memory was taken so that they won't know that they're sleeper agents? And what if it says Panther is tasked with infiltrating the Seven because the Seven has already been infiltrated and Panther has to find out who the imposters is or are after she infiltrated the IO, which is why in her description it says she is an IO agent, a double double agent. So maybe this part kind of gets underlooked, but I do think it's worth pointing out that of course we got two new members of the seven this season. Well, three, but two of them that I'm talking about here being the sisters. We also recently got a leaked skin coming out soon called Panther, which looks awfully a lot like the order. And we have theories about that, that we've made in previous videos. There is though another battle pass skin called Arisa or Arisa. I'm not really sure how you say it, but it indeed also looks a lot like the Panther skin with almost the same sort of helmet, very similar designs, not identical, but similar. I would not say the Imagined looks identical to the Order either. There are some differences, but mostly similar. And I would say these skins here follow that same verdict. Arise's description says, a lost princess from a forgotten realm of warriors. So just for the sake of this video, if we're saying that the Panther is indeed some form of the Order, then for this theory to be correct, then Arisa would have to be some form of the Imagined. We know that the Imagined has had her memory wiped and she has no idea about her past. And the description of this skin says, a lost princess from a forgotten realm of warriors. So a similar enough theme there. On top of having a mask that looks a lot like members of the Seven's helmet, minus the cat ears. What do you guys think? Be sure to let me know down below. Even if it turns out that this theory is not right at all, it's gonna be very, very interesting to find out who both of these characters really are, but specifically the Panther skin, considering her description is very, very revealing. Next up, we have Hunter Collins, who says the IO seems to have captured a lot of the members of the Seven at different points in time somehow. Example, Paradigm, Origin, and the Sisters. I wonder if they've had them all in custody at one point or another. Probably not, but very interesting. To go ahead and add on to that, not that they were necessarily prisoners of the IO, but the Foundation trapped himself in a metaphorical prison in the Spire back in Chapter 2, and also the Origin was a literal prisoner of the IO. So accounting all of that, at least five members of the Seven have been in some sort of prison that we know of, four of them from the IO. We don't know the full story on the Imagined and the Order yet, but they were at one point almost certainly a part of the IO or imprisoned by them, something along those lines. I definitely would not be surprised to find out that all the members of the Seven at some point were either imprisoned by or affiliated with the Imagined Order to some degree. Next up, we have Ja'Kai Reed who says, I think that a mech is down under daily and the Paradigm knows 
what is happening next with the IO in that they're bringing the Caddis monster back, but that's just a theory. Without diving into too much detail, of course, I'm sure you guys know if you watch the channel, we've talked a lot about the mech and the Caddis returning for around two, and there is evidence to suggest that is going to be happening. We know that the paradigm is on the way back and has been recalled to the island, but did you know that according to the Fortnite wiki, Paradigm has actually arrived on the island already, and she is currently in hiding. The scientist even has the looper start dropping space rocks on the island to help the Paradigm find her way to the sanctuary. If Paradigm is back, where is she hiding? Where on the island? Where on the map? Could she be hiding realistically? I want to hear it in the comments. This reminds me a lot of the visitor from back in chapter one, season four, when we knew he escaped from his pod in the middle of Dusty Divot, and we knew he was on the map, but we didn't know specifically where he was. Since Paradigm is already hiding on the island, and since we know a mech arm is out there in the water, as well as the remains of the Caddis monster, is it possible that Singularity, aka Paradigm, actually does have the repaired mech underneath the island, ready to go, maybe even launching out of the Daily Bugle, which would be almost the exact same spot, including a very similar location to where it happened in chapter one at the volcano. Ugwe de Bomb says, I don't know if you saw my comment on your other video, but I had a theory that maybe the Order still has her memories and that's why she's the one stopping the Imagined from uncovering her past, to either protect the Imagined or stop her from going back to the IO. Real quick, I literally always read every single comment, whether I get around to replying to every single one or using every single one in a video, I read every single comment and I appreciate it each and every time you leave one. Basically, this theory is suggesting that in the stealthy surveillance loading screen, the order could be here possibly going into the IO headquarters to delete the files on the Imagined and subsequently herself too, in an effort to prevent the Imagined from learning about her past, which might lead to her returning to the IO. Another day, another theory about a savage tour within the Seven. I do think that is a very real possibility but I don't know if it would be in this circumstance. It is possible. I can't say no. Fortnite's done some crazy things. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you taking the time to stop back by. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, drop a like on the video, and click on to the next one to keep the party rolling. I'll see you next time.